Now for many of us, New Year means looking forward maybe to a fresh start, but for our next guest this morning, moving on for her, she says, is impossible. Uh, this is Tracy Richardson. Her mum, Michelle, disappeared nearly 10 years ago. And last year, only last year, Martin Stafford was found guilty of her murder. However, he still refuses to say where Tracy's mum's body is, something that she desperately needs to know in order to move on. And you've decided, Tracy, to write this man a letter. Yeah. You haven't posted it yet, why? Um, why? Um, as he, was just, um, he put an appeal in um, for the, my mum's uh, murder. Um, so I've wrote it and kept it and I'll send it on eventually. When, when did you write it? Um, a few weeks after my mum's trial. I sat down and with a pen and a piece of paper. And, and it's very emotive. You don't, you don't mind if we read no. some of it um, out. Uh, amongst the things you say to him, you say, when you murdered my mum, what did you do with her? What did you do with my mum? Of all the people staying at the Dubliner pub in Birmingham in 2004, you picked my mum. You decided to kill my mum. What has she done to you? Why her? And the questions that you need to know the answers to. Yeah. What's it been like this past eight years, not only losing your mother, but not knowing the answers to those questions? Um, hard. Um, but I just have to move, like try and sort things out. And I've got a six-year-old boy as well, so... And the six-year-old boy who your, your mother never got to no. see, um, that must have been very hard for yeah. you, because during all this, I mean, this has taken from the time she disappeared to, to Martin Stafford being convicted is nearly eight years. What, what was she doing in Birmingham? How did the two of She was working um, at the NEC. Um, she was doing the close show lives event, yeah. Um, she was working as a security guard there. Um, so. so she was up there working, staying in a pub, and this is where they believe that Martin Stafford saw her. Yeah. And then what do you know about what they think happened to your mum? Um, um, what um, beliefs have happened is um, he attacked my mum, um, I dragged her to a car, and fled in my mum's car, but no one knows where he put her or anything. But he says he didn't do it. He, yeah, he said he's, he's um, not done it. What, what if he? What if he didn't? What if he didn't do it? I don't know. There was. I, I can't even imagine to think that. But you say. I'm strong like my mum. She will always be a part of our family. She was there for us. Now I need to be there for her, yeah. you say. Yeah. You, you believe that. What is it that is keeping you going? Describe to us, tell us what, why you are eight years on, still so strong on this crusade. Um, I, I need to find my mum. I need to know where she is, lay her to rest properly. Um, and then we all, um, as a family, can move on. 